moving from one war to another one, well, one that, you know, hopefully will not happen again in world history, but, you know, right. the times that we are living right now, you know, uh, we'll talk about the full first season of We Were the Lucky Ones, right? Um, I'll do the synopsis this time here. And, um, well, well you, you you spoke about the first three episodes already. Right, 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 right. I'll just share my, my thoughts on the show and then you could share your thoughts on how to, because you haven't seen the finale, so you could just tell me how right. to find the right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, so this is a miniseries, right? A historical drama. It's based off of the 2017 book of the same name. Um, and the, the, the author herself, Georgia Hunter, right? Um, this is actually, um, the story itself is inspired by, you know, what went on with her own family, right? So we're following the Kirk, the Kirk family, right? They live in Poland. They, they are Jews, right? Um, and this is a pretty big family, right? You know, everybody, you know, kind of, well, it pretty much centers on... Um, Three brothers and one sister, right? So, um, the sister being Helena Kirk, who is played by Joey King. And the thing is, I was like, I was watching the face, like, where do I know you from? And I was like, all right, you were in Bullet Train. Ah, I remember you from that. Right, were, right. Yeah, yeah. And she was really, really cool in that, right? Um, and then we have Addy, who is played by Logan Lerman, aka Percy Jackson. I had to watch your face, like, oh, that's you, right? Um, he is the the most adventurous of the of the four siblings, right? You know, uh, early on, you know, he talks about well, he, he, he's established as this guy who's very much into music, into um, piano compositions and whatnot. So yeah, he just wants to travel the world and you know just experience things, right? And he actually kind of does that, right? Uh, we have Jenik, um, who is married to this girl named Herta, and they are well, they I, I believe at the at the be, be, before shit hits the fan, um. Huta is pregnant, so so she he's about to be a father basically, right? And then lastly we have um Yakub, um sorry, um Yakub, right? Um he is the boyfriend of this girl named Bella. Um and he and he is into photography as well, right? So we just kind of basically see these these um these four siblings uh we're we're introduced to their parents as well. And there's this like team um this I don't want to say like this pretty much a recurring event which is passover right you see how important it is and how it brings the family together and all that jazz right so yeah surprise surprise um the germans pretty much find their way into poland right because as uh, when the when the, when the story begins yes world war ii has already started right but you know they just kind of they're kind of hoping that germans don't um don't don't cross over their border uh, borders sorry but they eventually do and things go from bad to worse and everybody gets separated um you know ghettos are set up and whatnot um and when it comes to the Kirks themselves, well, the, the, the siblings, they are pretty much spread out, right? So Adi finds himself on a boat, you know, because he's, you know, just, you know, he wants to pursue his dreams as this composer and whatnot, right? But then he finds himself, himself sorry, um, stuck in roadblock after roadblock because, like, every, every, like, the ship that he's in early on um, usually drops him off at a certain point, and that is where, um, German ally, sorry, Nazi allies are set up there. So it's like on all this drama about him not being able to return home because of visa problems and all yeah. kind of drama, right? And then in the process, he runs into this girl um, who is, I believe she is Jewish as well, if I'm not mistaken, right? And, you know, they kind of hit it off there, but, you know, it's still roadblock after roadblock with him. Um, Helena now, um, she she runs into drama as well. Um, she's there with her, with her boyfriend as well. And it's just one scenario after the next who trying to get back home, trying to get her parents safe, trying to get back to her family and all that kind of stuff. Um, Jenek um, pretty much finds himself in this, um, not so much a concentration camp, but pretty much um, like just, just a prisoner, basically. Him and his wife are there in this um, prison over in Siberia, right? So this is around the time when the, when the Soviets were aligned with the, with the Nazis. And then well, later on in the show, you know, they pretty much kind of, um, well, the Soviets and the, the Nazis pretty much kind of separate and start warring with each other. So you see the adventures going on with there. And Yakub now, um, he is just there trying to survive as well with Bella. And, um, well, they, they actually were separated at first and then they kind of came back together. And then, you know, it's just... All kind of shenanigans going on, right? But at the heart of it all, it's really about just this family trying to find their way back together amidst the the chaos and fear, like legit fear of what's going on around them, right? And we get this really fascinating, really powerful story, right? Told over the course of eight episodes. Um, so just overall thoughts on this, right? Uh, well, you didn't see the finale, so I will now I'll try not to spoil too much with it, right? Um. 
I am I am so glad that you put me onto the show, boy, because yeah, I I really really enjoy this man. Um, and I say enjoy, I kind of use this term loosely, right? Because uh, just letting you know one time, if you cry easy, um, yeah, you will be weeping literally with every single episode with this dude. You know, it's just so much turmoil these characters go through, right? Uh, but one thing that the show does very well, right? And I, and I think it's a very smart call. Well, a couple of smart calls, right? One, I know there will be a lot of people who will go into this thinking, oh, it's going to be another shinless list. I'm just going to see a bunch of Jewish prisoners getting tortured and all that kind of stuff. And I'm supposed to stick with it, right? I'm supposed to stomach it, sorry. It's like, But right. no, it, it's not really like that. What the show does so well is that it frames it from, okay, yes, uh, many of our Jewish brethren are being um captured and sent into concentration camps and whatnot right but this the 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 the, the freeman of the story is from the people who are still in their homes or who right. have to leave and go elsewhere to avoid getting arrested or killed yeah, or whatnot, that's, right that's and why that's why it's it a works, nice uh, piece of freeman there yeah yeah no that, that's why it works because it, it just builds that conceit of the anxiety of the thing you know it, yes it, it, yes it happened to you yet but it right fucking there and it, that's it the does thing, that right, really yeah. well yeah and and it's how everybody is just like on the toes though. I I, yeah. I mean there will be the there will be the few characters who be like, ah, don't worry, we'll be fine. And if they come, right. you know, we have right. a we have a basement. They, we can they sort of that complacency fast, like really yeah. fast, like yeah, yeah, like like to the point that people are kicked out of their homes, people are kicked out out of their businesses, right? And boy, there there's a a a really like that that scene, right? So okay, so I'll I'll, I'll confess, right? Um, the sh- there were there were numerous moments where the show was close to bringing the mantis out of my boy. Yeah. But there's one scene involving a character trying to return home, boy, and it's just a simple thing that she she has requested. She just wants something from the home. She just want to find out something. And the German owners of that place is like, no, don't let don't let this person in. It's a Jew. It's a rat. Blah blah blah. blah. And it's how this person breaks down and said, "You're in my home. You're in my home." But I feel that you know. Yeah. Eyes water when I when I see that boy. I was like, God, I feel that boy. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I, you're right. It is the complacency as, uh, um, aspect of it, right? Because yeah, you know, they're thinking, you know what? We 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 work in here. You know what I mean? We 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 you know we have dreams and hopes and right. you know we got me you know got me parents and shit. It's like now nah, when when you, when you Jews come, Jews like no, we we don't care. You all Jews, boom. You know what I mean? Either we right either, either, either we wrangle all you up and arrest all you. Or, or 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 worse, right? So it's like that, right? I'm um, gonna see the point that some characters have to have to fake, you know, being um Jew um Jewish, right? Um, because yeah, and it actually brings up pretty interesting subplot where somebody says, you know, um, the Germans are really can't really like realistically identify, you know, uh, whether you're a Jew, you know. I, I guess it's because of the blue eyes, right? So yeah, no, that's, that's, that's the problem. But it's, like that. That, yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's always like some vague pseudo scientific nonsense that they used to yes. use, to, like to say, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This or yeah, that. Yeah, and and you can understand why they would they would think so. Yes, yeah? so yeah, some characters pretend to be German. You know, yeah, they, not hard. Yeah. yeah, you know, but but ever so often they get called out. Some people will just make them out the second they, they they step out into the streets and whatnot, right? Um, it, it actually happens. So one character is really great, right? Um, there are genuine moments of tension as well. You know what I mean? But I, again, I just love that it's not free from you know the. What you would assume from a um, from a story of you know with this um, team uh, was subject matter basically where it's about you know people getting captured and being tortured and whatnot right like that's there right but it, that's not really what the show is about it's really about these characters who technically are away from the war technically away from everything but they still be they still feeling tripped and you you literally do feel that fear throughout the show right um, another thing they do very well do is how they how they use dialogue and well how they pretty much use exposition to, to kind of describe um or explain certain historical aspects that's going on right so um this is not a nitpick for me but like i'll i'll, I'll put it like this right like this is not a hbo show in the sense that right. okay you know because the world war ii show we got to show you scenes of war we have to remind right. you of war stuff so well, no this no. is not Band the brothers what, or the Pacific, right? right? But, no, this was okay. So this is where this is one of the big. Talk, this is something I didn't talk about back when when it came out, but it's something I keep uh, keep saying. I mentioned it with Dune, but not um, Oppenheimer. Um, you know, one of the big things is that it once you talk about war, once you show war, you show the violence, it immediately undermines its core conceit as an anti-war movie. That is like a common thing. Mm-hmm. I talk about it with yeah. Dune. 
Uh, but not with Oppenheimer, like took the time to like not show any violence. Like remember, you yeah, didn't see it, 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 it didn't show you Hiroshima or Nagasaki. Nothing. But yeah, it it, it visually kind of show you know again because um it's about the existential um trauma. You know what I mean? It's it's right. um you know just the weight of what uh, Oppenheimer yeah. did, right? Yeah, so if, I, if I remember, if I remember correctly, at most we get a, a slight snippet of a clip of the footage Oppenheimer was watching. After the with the effects of the bomb, that's it. Like we didn't see anything. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah it's that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, right. Sorry. It, it, exactly. Um, there are few scenes of war, right? Um, but right. but they are there for they they they're purposefully, right? But again, you know, this is not a war film, so a war story. So you're not gonna see scenes of war. You know, again, like a Band of Brothers or the Pacific or something like that. It's not right. that type of show, right? But I think it works with you know just having characters say. You know, um, uh, um, Hitler is sending his, um, his forces over here, and you know, um, the Soviets are no longer working with this guy and stuff like that. I, right, I, I right, like right. that. It, it, you know, that that bit of um, that that world building aspect. I know some people might be, oh gosh, yeah, they kind of tell you all this stuff is, but like, yeah, you know what I mean? Because like for people like me, I don't know all the. You know, like all the um the basic breakdown of everything that happened, you know, um up until the end of the new um second world war. I, I can't tell you those things, right? But but it works like that, right? Um performances are, are fantastic across the board though, whether it's um Joey King or, or Logan Lerman or the other actors who um I don't recognize at all. Maybe I've seen them in bit roles before, but yeah, I, I've never seen them before. Um, but but I, I I thought that they were great though. Um, and in, in terms of just the, the characters and the motivations, all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I like how believable they are too, and how, yeah, just how motivated they are emotionally though. Like like you know, ever so if this somebody might do something like, oh gosh, why you will do that, Jay? Like why you will stay back and look for somebody when you could go with this person and be safe? But you kind of understand. You know, like anywhere they go, even if they see for like what, like a month or a year or whatnot, that's not enough because you know, I, I wanna be sure that my the rest of my family's safe and whatnot, right? And you really feel it with the character of Addy because Addy is away from all of this, but he just keep getting stuck in one place and the next try to get back home, you know what I mean? So it's and he's like worried like for their life over his family, right? And and it makes a lot of sense too, right? Um, I thought that the music also was 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 well done. It was is you know it just tug at the heartstrings, you know, and yeah, it's it's string assisted stuff, but it you know it totally works, right? Um, it, it is violent, right? But not too gratuitous with it, and not overly violent, right? So, um, while it is a grim watch at 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 some points, so and yeah, there there are some moments where it's like oof, like wow, that that, that was kind of brutal, right? Um, I love that the show does not relish or like, you know, savor too much of the the. You know, it's it's not about the the shock value of it all. It's just about kind of showing you just how brutal the Nazis are. But it's you know never done to kind of beat you over the head with it. It kind of shows it, and and you get the point, and then you know it just kind of moves on with the story, right? And last thing last, um, one thing that really surprised me about this too is despite the grimness of it all, um, there is hope. There is more there are moments of joy in this film as well, right? In this series, sorry. But you know, it's it it's it's basically about, you know, the 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 human spirit in the end of the day, right? You know, it's just the resilience to to stand up and fight or, you know, to flee or to go for your family and stuff like that, right? But it's never done in such a way where, you know, it's all gloom and doom and characters are all sad and crying, right? Yes, there are moments like that, but at the same time, there are moments of joy, whether they're 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 brief or fleeting or whatnot. But those those moments stand out just as much as the grim moments as well, right? So yeah, um as a whole, I, I absolutely enjoy this man. It it, it brought me man tears out of me quite a few times though, but I would say that if you cry easy way, boy, you will be you'll be like weeping like <laughs> just repeatedly throughout this show, man. But I, I would say hands down this is one of the best uh mini series and TV shows um I've seen all year though. I, I I'm not sure if I'll watch this again, but like it's in terms of, of yeah, yeah it, it, it's it's one of those. But I'll make I'll, I'll I will see something. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give this this compliment it, and then I'll give him a rating. Right. Um, it's not the underground railroad. Like I love the underground railroad, right. but that right. is a show that I can't sit through again because of how bleak and grim this is. Right. Um, we were the lucky ones. Is not as grim. Is not as bleak, despite the subject matter. Yes, there are moments that will unsettle you and make you feel really sad and whatnot. Right. But it's ne- it, it never lingers on too long on the sadness, right? It's about the courage. It's about the hope. It's about the joy as well. And if you just stick to it, 
um yeah you will be you will be rewarded with a show that yeah will just genuinely move you but um it is a totally totally ta- um satisfying conclusion to this um to the show here man so um yeah definitely well uh, in your case ricardo yeah please watch that finale right but because cause it's great yeah for me absolutely love this i'm gonna give this a light um four and a half out of five this is one of the year's best films what well, sorry one of the year's best tv shows um but again don't let the subject matter um like i know like like some people just don't want to see stuff like this and that's understandable you know what i mean um given what we've seen before with films of this nature whether it's schindler's list or like what i talked about earlier this year zone of interest right right it's it's they're, they're uncomfortable films they, they really are uncomfortable to watch right but this one in comparison to those two titles that i mentioned there has hope has you know there, there is courage you know and hope and joy within all this stuff right and you really will be rooting for these characters to to just survive just to see another day man and yeah it, it, it absolutely works man so yeah again ricardo thanks thank you for putting me on to this yeah this was great man so yeah ricardo even though you didn't see the finale um yeah yeah what you think about the show no yeah no what, what 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 that that's the main thing about it the the the, the what why it works is that it it delves into the workable realistic emotions of the situations yes it's horrifying but that's only because of the end game horrifying aspect of it right that's that's the part of it that we that's the part of it that people will focus on because of how bad it could quote unquote get but that's the day to day aspect of it is like most people don't think about it like that um and that's why this works because it, it gets into that emotional reality much better than I expected. Like much better. It, again, love shouldn't list, you know, that classic, right? Love, love, um oh gosh, with the other one. Uh uh slip my mind right now. You wanna win the Oscar the other day. Um, um oh, oh, oh okay no, zone I, interest, I, zone right, interest, zone interest, right right no well, i, I right, thought right. he was going to talk about some some other holocaust film from the past no 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 right yeah yeah, yeah. love zone of interest love, love it for what it is but that that gets into like the real like end game nightmare stuff that is not the thing it's just the sheer anxiety what could happen they have a sense of foreboding but just the day to day bouncing off of each other that's why it works right uh yeah yeah that's about it but i i, I see the finale yet to, to know to make a proper judgment but yeah so that's it all right, so so I guess you wouldn't read it for now, or well, you know, I, I, I guess my well, years now, and we can yeah, always as, get back. As there. what I watch, as what I watch before, now we get eight out of ten. So for now, but I ain't see the finale to see, you know, how that if that fully justified or not. But yeah, uh, for now, eight out of ten for what I watch so far. Right, right, right. But yes, folks, it's it's great. But again, I know, you know, again, is the subject is the subject matter, right? So yeah. if Holocaust films aren't your bag, that's fine. That's okay. But if you just want to see a, a truly powerful and emotionally moving uh, dramatic miniseries, yeah, definitely check out Way With The Lucky Ones. It's one of the best that I would imagine that, that you will see in your life. Yeah. 